welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar 2 as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham sachidanandam vandeham yokhilan jagat chari karti bari bharti sanjari harti leelaya विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम योखिलं जगत चरी करति बरी भरति संजरी हरति लीलया इन दिस कोर्स वी आर स्टडिंग द थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप्स ऑफ समासस द अव्ययी भाव बहुव्रीही एंड द द्वंद्व समास इन दिस lecture we are focused on the bahuvrihi samasa and an aspect of it the structure of the bahuvrihi samasa can be shown in brief by this particular equation on the slide where we have x and y two independent entities in terms of the word form the meaning and the accent and they are semantically interrelated as is indicated by the plus sign and then the speaker of sanskrit decides to merge them together and generates an output in the form of xy which is one unit the features of this xy are aikarthya or ekarthata aikapadya or ekapadata and aikaswarya or ekaswarata this is one unit now the head of this unit as far as the bahuvrihi samasa is concerned is neither x nor y that's why none of them is put in the bold characters the head of this bahuvrihi samasa lies outside of the compound that is z somewhere so this xy qualifies that z now in the avyayi bhav samasa when the first member of the compound becomes the head x was shown in the bold characters and in the tatpurusha samasa where y or the second member or the final member of the compound becomes the head y was shown in the bold characters nothing of that sort happens in the bahuvrihi therefore none of the x and y is put in the bold characters in the ashtadhyayi the bahuvrihi samasa is dealt with at different places so the samasa vidhayaka sutras are stated from 2 to 23 onwards up to 2 to 28 2 to 23 is shesho bahuvrihi and 2 to 28 is tena saheti tulya yoge samasanta pratyaja vidhayaka sutra dar stated from 54113 onwards up to 5.4.160 and the swara vidhayaka sutras are stated in 6.2 currently we are studying the section from 5.4.113 onwards up to 5.4.160 in this section the elements that are added or substituted at the end of the samasa are stated with reference to the bahuvrihi samasa so far we have studied the samasanta pratyayas now we from this lecture study the samasanta adeshas that are stated within this particular section samasant adeshas are stated from 54129 up to 54150 let us study them one by one the first of these samasant adeshas is stated by the sutra 54129 which is prasambhyam janunor gnyuh and the meaning of the sutra is at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa the word janu which comes immediately after the words pra and sam is substituted by gnu i repeat at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa the word janu 
which comes immediately after the words pra and sam is substituted by dnu. The bahuvrihi samasa in this case is stated by the vartika pradibhyo dhatu jasya uttara padasya lopascha va bahuvrihir vaktavyaha. So when the meaning to be conveyed is one whose knees are strong are long the laukika vigraha is pragate jānuni yasya saha pragate jānuni yasya saha so here we have the laukika vigraha then we have the alaukika vigraha namely pra plus au plus jānu plus au pra plus au plus jānu plus au then the samasa saudhnya takes place and then the pratibhadika saudhnya takes place then we apply supodhatu pratibhadika yoho so we have pra plus zero plus janu plus zero and now we substitute this janu coming at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa by new by this present sutra 54129 so we get the form pradnyu which is the finally derived bahuvrihi samasa output pradnyu and then we add the suffix su pradnyu plus su and then we get the form pradnyu when the samasa qualifies a masculine entity similarly when the meaning to be conveyed is one whose knees are together sangate jānuni yasya saha this is the laukika vigraha and by doing the same process we derive the finally derived bahuvrihi samasa output namely saudnyu and then the prathama ekavachana would be samdnyu the next sutra 5.4.130 is urdhvat vibhasha urdhvat vibhasha what this means is at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa the word janu which comes immediately after the word urdhva is substituted by new optionally i repeat at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa the word janu which comes immediately after the word urdhva is substituted by new optionally so we have urdhve jānuni yasya saha urdhve jānuni yasya saha and we do the same process and substitute janu by new optionally so we get the samasanta outputs samasa outputs are as urdhva new with the new substitution and urdhva janu in the absence of the new substitution that is the optional application of the substitution of new urdhva new and urdhva janu this is the finally derived bahuvrihi samasa output in accordance with 5.4.130 and the prathama ekavachana would be urdhva dnihu and urdhva janu let us now go to 5.4.131 this is udhaso anang udhaso anang now the meaning of the sutra is at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa the word udhas is substituted by anang i repeat at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa the word udhas is substituted by anang anang is an having the marker ng which has got a very peculiar function now here there is a vartika statement which says udhaso anangi stri grahanam kartavyam this substitution takes place when the intended meaning has femininity in part so meaning one a cow whose bosom is like a pitcher when this meaning is to be conveyed the following derivation happens and the finally derived bahuvrihi samasa output takes place and then there are these two sutras which play a crucial role in such a derivation namely bahuvrihir udhaso nish this adds the suffix nish indicating the femininity after the word udhas which is part of the bahuvrihi compound and then and this sutra is 4.1.25 and then we add and then we delete the a uh of the an in accordance with 64134 
namely allopurnaha let us look at the derivation so the laugika vigraha is kundam iva udaha yasyaha sa kundam iva udaha yasyaha sa so now the alaukika vigraha would be kunda plus su plus udhas plus su then we apply the samasa saudnya then we apply the pratipadika saudnya then supodhatu pratipadika yo applies so you have kunda plus 0 plus udhas plus 0 when we join them together we get the form kundodhas now kundodhas we add this add the prathama ekavachana to it so we have kundodhas plus su and then we add the feminine suffix kundodhas plus nish plus su caused by the sutra bahuvriha bahuvriha eh udhaso nish and then we have the sutra udhaso nang applying and so we have kundodha an plus nish plus su so kundodhan plus nish plus su and then we have the su pratyaya getting drop so kundo dhan plus nish by the sutra halnya abhyo dirghat so tisya praktam hal and now we have kundo dhan plus e so e is the actual pratyaya in nish now because e is vowel beginning pratyaya so we apply the sutra allopanaha and so this a uh in dhan gets deleted so we have kundod n plus e and finally when we join these together we get the form kundod mi a cow whose bosom is like a pitcher kundod mi similarly ghatod mi will also be derived in the similar fashion where the samas output would be ghatod dhan an important sutra which plays a, an important role over here is nichcha which says that even though the adesha is anekal but if it has the marker ng then this adesha must substitute the final element of the substituent nichcha 1153 then we go to the next sutra 5.4.132 which is dhanushascha this sutra means that at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa the word dhanus is substituted by anang and anang means an now here the following sutras play a crucial role sarvanamasthane cha sambuddhau in lengthening halgyam bhav dirgha suti sapraktam hal in terms of the deletion of the su and nalopa pratipadikantasya in order to delete the final na and we get the examples like pushpa dhanva and gandiva dhanva let us look at the example the meaning to be conveyed is one whose bow is made out of a horn one whose bow is made out of a horn sharangam dhanuhu yasya saha sharangam dhanuhu yasya saha this is the laukika vigraha and the alaukika vigraha would be sharanga plus su plus dhanus plus su so the samasa saudnya takes place and so the pratipadika saudnya takes place so we apply the sutra supodhatu pratipadika yoho and delete both the sups so we have sharanga plus 0 plus dhanus plus 0 and then when we bring them together we get sharanga dhanus and then now we apply this sutra dhanushascha and so apply the substitute anang at the end of dhanus that is sa so we have sharanga dhanu an and then because of this an eco yunanchi applies so we have sharanga dhanva an and when we join them together we get the form sharanga dhanvan now in order to use it in the sentence we add the suffix su after it so we have sharanga dhanvan plus su then we apply the sutra sarvanamasthane cha sambuddhau and lengthen the penultimate vowel so we have sharanga dhanvan plus su and then finally we delete su by 
the sutra halgya bhyo dirgha suti sapraptam hal and so what remains is sharanga dhanvan and then we delete this final na by the sutra nalopa pratipadikantasya and so we get the form sharanga dhanva as the prathama ekavachana sharanga dhanva sharangam dhanuhu yasya saha is the laukika vigraha and sharanga dhanva is the prathama ekavachana of the compound sharanga dhanvan similarly adhijyam dhanuhu yasya saha is the laukika vigraha and we get the finally derived compound output namely adhijya dhanvan by substituting sa by an by this sutra dhanushascha and the prathama ekavachana would be adhijya dhanva one whose bow has the bow string on that means one who is ready always ready he is called adhijya dhanvan or adhijya dhanva its prathama ekavachana then the next sutra is 5.4.133 which is va saudnyayam what this sutra means is that is that at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa which denotes a term the word dhanus is substituted by anang optionally so when you have the meaning one who has 100 bows shatam dhanuhu yasya saha the optional application of the substitution anang gives us two forms shat dhanus where there is no substitution and the form remains as it is shat dhanus but when you add anang you get the form shat dhan one which is the samasa output so you have shat dhanuhu and shat dhanva as the prathama ekavachana derived from these two samasas shat dhanuhu and shat dhanva this is in fact the name of a king in the syamantaka upakhyana as the commentators have provided the information to explicate how this word denotes a saudnya now we move towards the next sutra 5.4.134 which is jayaya ning jayaya ning the meaning of this sutra is at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa the word jaya is substituted by ning that is ni once again the sutra nitcha applies 1153 and says that even if the substitute is anekal if it is added with the marker ng which it is in this case then the substitute substitutes the final vowel and not the entire substituent so in case of jaya a is the final sound and that a is substituted by ni so the word jaya means wife and its traditional explanation is as follows sa jaya jaya bhavati yadasyam jayate punaha she is called jaya in which he is reborn jaya that is wife so here is the derivation of the samasa whose meaning is one whose wife is a young woman this is the meaning to be intended to be conveyed so you have the laukika vigraha yuvati hi jaya yasya saha yuvati hi jaya yasya saha so now the alaukika vigraha is yuvati plus su plus jaya plus su and then the samasa saudnya takes place then the pratipadika saudnya takes place so supodhatu pratipadika yoho applies and we get the form yuvati plus 0 plus jaya plus 0 now here we apply the ummad bhava operation and we get the form yuva plus 0 plus jaya plus 0 and then we have yuva jaya as the finally derived compound as the finally derived output and now here we apply the sutra jaya ya ning which substitutes a at the end of jaya then we get yuva jai ni then this year gets deleted because of lopo verbally so we have yuva ja ni and now we have the finally derived bahuvrihi samasa output as yuva jani then we add the suffix su to it we get the form yuva jani hi so in this case lopovyor vali 6166 applies and deletes y in jai and then also 
दसूत्र सिक्स थ्री थर्टी फोर स्त्रिया पुंवत भाषित पुंसका दनोम समानाधिकरणे स्त्रियाम अपूरणी प्रिया दिशु विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन डिटेल दिस अप्लाइज एट द स्टेज ऑफ यव जाय नी एंड सब्सटीट्यूट्स दिस य बाय जीरो एंड वी गेट द फॉर्म देर फॉर युव जानी Let us now proceed further and study the next sutra, 5.4.135, which is Gandhasya it ut uti su surabhi bhaya. I repeat, Gandhasya it ut uti su surabhi bhaya. The meaning is the one that follows at the end of the Bahuvrihi Samasa, the word Gandha when comes immediately after the words ut. Uti, su, and surabhi is substituted by it, that is e. I repeat, at the end of the bahurihi samasa, the word gandha, when comes immediately after the words ut, puti, su, and surabhi, is substituted by it, that is e. Here we apply the sutra alontiasya 1152, where the substitution is made in place of the final element of the substituent. So, a uh, final a uh in Gandha is substituted by e. <coughs> there is a statement which says Gandhasya itve tadekanta grahanam. What it means is that the saint or Gandha, a guna, should be a part of the denoted meaning, namely gunin or dravya, pushpam, salilam, vayu, etc., and not apana. Sugandha, Shobhanaha, Gandhaha, Dravyani Yasya. That is not the meaning intended over here. So, the meaning to be conveyed is one who has good scent, and this is referring to a flower and not to the shop in which the flowers are kept for sell. So, one who has good scent, Shobhanaha, Gandhaha, Yasya Saha. This is the laukika vigraha, and then the alaukika vigraha is su plus su plus gandha plus su. Samasa saudhnya takes place, pratibhadika saudhnya takes place. So we apply supodhatup pratibhadika yoho. So we have su plus zero plus gandha plus zero. Then when we join them together, we get the form su gandha, and here we substitute this final a by e in accordance with the present sutra. So we get the form. Sugandhi, <coughs> Sugandhi as the finally derived Bahuvrihi Samasa output. Then we have Sugandhi plus Su, and this Su is deleted, and this Su is substituted by the Bisarga, so we get the form Sugandhihi as the Prathama Ekavachana of Sugandhi. Similarly, we get Udgandhihi, Puti Gandhihi, and Surabhi Gandhihi. As the other forms of the prathama ekavachana of these compounds derived by this particular sutra, substituting a at the end by e. Then let us go to the next sutra, that is 5.4.136, which is alpakhyayam. What it means is at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa, the word gandha, which means small amount, is substituted by e. That is it. Per, the tradition says alpa pariyayo gandha shabda. Alpa pariyayo gandha shabda. So when the meaning is the food in which ghee, soup, or milk is in small quantity, alpam asmin bhojane gritam or supaha or kshiram, and then we get the samasa grita gandhi, soup gandhi. And Kshir Gandhi with the addition of the Samasanta Adesha E at the end. Ghrita Gandhi, Supa Gandhi, and Kshir Gandhi. Let's go to the next sutra, 5.4.137, which is Upamanacha. The meaning of this sutra is at the end of the Bahuvrihi Samasa, the word Gandha, which comes immediately after a word. Denoting the standard of comparison is substituted by e. I repeat, 
at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa the word gandha which comes immediately after a word denoting the standard of comparison is substituted by it or e so when the meaning to be conveyed is one whose scent is like that of the lotus or one whose scent is like that of the cow dung so we have padmasya gandha iva gandha yasya saha or karishasya gandha iva gandha yasya saha and then padma and karisha being the standard of comparison or upamana we add the samasanta adesha e in place of final a in gandha and we get the finally derived samasa output namely padmagandhi or karishagandhi and padmagandhi and karishagandhi will be the prathama ekavachanas let us proceed further to the sutra 5.4.138 the sutra is padasya lopo ahastyadibhya padasya lopaha ahastyadibhya meaning is at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa the word pada which comes immediately after a word denoting the standard of comparison different than a list of words beginning with hastin is substituted by deletion i repeat at the end of the bahuvrihi samasa the word pada which comes immediately after a word denoting the standard of comparison different than a list of words beginning with hastin is substituted by deletion so here we apply the sutra alon tyasya 1152 and the final a in pada is deleted here is an example one whose feet are like that of a tiger when this meaning is to be conveyed where we have the laukika vigraha vyagrasya padau iva padau yasya saha vyagrasya iva padau yasya saha this is the laukika vigraha and the alaukika vigraha is vyagra plus ngas plus pada plus au vyagra plus ngas plus pada plus au and now we apply the samasa saudnya then we apply the pratipadika saudnya then we apply supodhatu pratipadika yoho and we delete both the sups so we have vyagra plus pada vyagra plus 0 plus pada plus 0 and then when we bring them together we get vyagra pada now here we apply the sutra 54138 and delete the final a in pada so we have vyagra pada as the finally derived bahuvrihi samasa output vyagra pada and then we add the su pratyaya after it so we have vyagra pada plus su then this su gets deleted because of the sutra halgya abhyo dirghat suti sapraktam hal and then we apply vavasane and then we get both the forms vyagra pada ending in the as well as vyagra pat ending in ta similarly we have simha pad and simha pat on whose feet are like that of a lion simha pad and simha pat what is this list beginning with hastin so when the standard of comparison is elephant etc the bahuvrihi samasa output is hasti pad and the prathama ekavachana is hasti padah no deletion takes place this sutra 54138 does not apply now here is a list of words which are part of this hastyadi hastin katola gandola gandolak mahila dasi ganika and kusula Let's go to the next sutra 5.4.139 Kumbha padishu ch The meaning of the samasa is sutra is the bahuvrihi samasas mentioned in the group of words that begin with kumbha padi are grammatical I repeat the bahuvrihi samasas 
mentioned in the group of words that begin with Kumbhapadi are grammatical. These words have the final vowel deleted Kumbhapadi. They also have a feminine suffix added to them without option. The words are always in feminine gender. These are the features of these words. So we have the words Kumbhapadi, Shatapadi, Ashtapadi, Jalapadi, Ekapadi, Malapadi, Munipadi, Godhapadi, Gopadi, Kalashipadi, Ghritapadi, Dasipadi, Nishpadi, Ardhrapadi, Kripunapadi, Krishnapadi, Dronapadi, Drupadi, Shakrutpadi, Supapadi, Panchapadi, Arvapadi and Stanapadi. In all these words, the final a is deleted and the feminine suffix is added at the end. Also, Pada has become Pad over here. Let us now go to the next Sutra 5.4.140 which is Sankhya Supurvasya. What it means is, at the end of the Bahuvrihi Samasa, the word Pada which comes immediately after a word denoting number as well as su is substituted by deletion. I repeat, at the end of the Bahuvrihi Samasa, the word Pada which comes immediately after a word denoting number as well as su is substituted by deletion. This takes place at the end, so Alontyasya 1152 applies and the final a is deleted. So when the Laukika Vigraha is, when the meaning to be conveyed is one who has two legs, the Laukika Vigraha is Dvau Padau or Trayaha Padaha Yasya Saha, one who has two or three legs, that is the meaning intended and the Laukika Vigraha is Dvau Padau Trayaha Padaha Yasya Saha. And then the finally derived Samasa output is Dvipad and Tripad, here Sankhya is the Purvapada. So we delete the final A in Pada by the application of this particular Sutra. Similarly, one whose legs are good, when this meaning is to be conveyed, the Laugika Vigraha is, is Shobhanau Padau Yasya Saha. And so, the finally derived Compound output is Supad, where Su is the Purvapada, and by the application of this particular sutra, we are we delete the final A in Pada, so we have Supad as the finally derived Bahuvrihi Samasa output. To summarize, the Samasanta Adesha is a peculiar operation stated to the Bahuvrihi Samasa. It is stated to specific words with specific formal conditions as well as certain semantic conditions. It is also stated optionally after some words and always after some other words. The Samasanta Adesha stated to the Bahuvrihi Samasa has several functions. It changes the final form of the compound from vowel ending to consonant ending, etc. It also acts as a condition for particular accent. It also acts as a condition for addition of feminine suffix. And the important point to be noted over here is that it is stated in the same adhikara as samasanta pratyaya. And it remains a puzzle as to why Panini did not state it separately. These are the references. We continue studying some more Samasanta Adeshas in the next lecture as well. Thank you very much.